Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra equation from here? Let's use the letter to represent the power. So let y be equals to 1 over e both of x. Then the equation we have now can be written as 9 raised to power y now equals to 90 from here. The next step, we can rewrite 90 as 90 and 10, that is where 9 raised to power y equals to 9 multiplied by 10. And here, divide both sides by 9 from here. Then divide this side by 9. Here, 9 cancel out here. Then on this side, we are left with 9 raised to power y over 9. Then equals to 10. And applying the law of indices, this is also n raised to power 1. When we have a raised to power n over a raised to power n, this seems as a raised to power n minus n. Now this from here, this becomes n raised to power y minus 1 equals to 10. Then here, let's take the log to base 9 on both sides. So we have log 9 raised to power y minus 1 to base 9 then equals to log 10 to base 9. That is, yeah, this power can come to the back when we have log 10 raised to power p and this is p log m. Then from here, we can write this as y minus 1 then log 9 to base 9 now equals to log 10 to base 9 here. and from what we have here log a base a same thing as 1 so everything here is 1 then 1 times y minus 1 is p y minus 1 now equals to log 10 to base 9 then here let's take minus 1 here become plus then we have y equals to 1 plus log 10 to base 9 and from here find the log log a log a to base b the same thing as 1 over log b to base a that is here we can write this as y equals to 1 plus 1 over log 9 to base 10 and here we can bring it together as 1 that is log 9 to base 10 serving as the SCN then here 1 goes here that's still log 9 to base 10 then times 1 that's still log 9 to base 10 then plus here we have 1 log 9 to base 10 goes here that's 1 1 times 1 1 then this is equals to y then also we recall that log 10 to base 10 is same thing as 1 so we place here as log 10 to base 10 then what we have here now becomes y equals to log 9 to base 10 then plus log 10 to base 10 then over log 9 to base 10 and then we can bring this together as from the law of logarithm log a to base c plus log b to base c here this same thing as log a times b to base c that is here we can write this as y equals to log 9 times 10 to base 10 then over log 9 to base 10 that is here this here we have this is times so this becomes log 90 base 
10 10 divided by log 9 to base 10 and also from the log of logarithm log a to base b is same thing as log a over log b that is what we have here in the numerator we can write it as y equals to log 90 over log 10 and also divided by what we have in the denominator now written as log 9 over log 10 that is here we can multiply this by log 10 and also multiply this by log 10 and here this cancel out also this cancel out and this reduce to log 90 over log 9 then from here we have y equals to log 90 over log 9 then recall that y is same thing as 1 over k root of x which implies that 1 over k root of x is now equals to log 90 over log 9 and from here when we take the reciprocal on both sides here this becomes k root of x then equals to here this becomes log 9 over log 90 then what we have here can be written as 9 can be written as 3 square then this becomes k root of x now equals to log 3 square then over log 90 from here and here from the power law 2 can come here then we have k root of x equals to 2 times log 3 over log 90 and which also from change of this we can write this as k root of x now equals to 2 log 3 base 90 then to remove this k root here we can raise both sides to power 3 that is here to power 3 then here this cancel out then we have x now equals to this power of 3 affects 2 that's 2 raised to power 3 then also log 3 to base 90 raised to power 3 and here we can write it as x equals to 8 times log 3 base 90 raised to power 3 which we can also put to decimal if you want to put it in approximate solution and thank you for watching don't forget to set subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class bye for now